Yo, hey everyone, Supremacist here, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about my own personal opinion of my issues about PUBG on the Xbox One. Now, I'm going to say that one more time, is that these are my personal issues. If you guys have your own issues with PUBG and would like to share them without arguing with them with me, then please leave them down in the comment section down below. I want to hear what you guys say about this game. And if you guys do agree with me, then go ahead and leave a like on the video. It's greatly appreciated. And if you guys want to share this video around, then go ahead. Now, I'm going to go ahead and leave the timestamps on screen right now of what I'm going to talk about or the topics of those timestamps. It's also going to be in the description down below. So the first thing that I would actually like to talk about is my own personal issues that I come across more or so compared to the ones where are just a general aspect of the game that might not be affecting most people. So the first thing that I would actually like to talk about is game crashes. Now, <laughs> now I cannot stress this enough that I do not know how many times, it's been about 18 times now since my Xbox has crashed since I've landed, since I've been in a car, since I'm trying to swim, since I'm trying to do something that's extremely important, maybe even a 1v1 situation and my game crash. Now what I'm talking about is when someone's AFK in the middle of the street because their game actually crashed. Now I just think to myself that they're what a poor, what a poor kid, you know? They're sitting, they didn't even mean it, the game crashed, they're AFK, and there's literally nothing that they can do about it other than restart their game and try and get in in the next two minutes and hope, and hope, and just hope that they're not, that they're not dead. Now, I experienced this, I don't know how many times, over and over and over again, being in the more important times it feels like the longer I leave it alone and not talk about an issue like this. They make a lot of money on Steam for this game, so they should have a good running game or some, some people who know how to fix issues like this. Now, there really isn't a lot to talk about in categories like this. They're really just category by category, so I'm going to go ahead and move on to my second point. My second point is keyboard and mouse users or Zim users on the Xbox One. I really don't like you. <laughs> The reason why I say this is because like a game like Rainbow Six Siege, when people use a Zim or a keyboard and mouse, it puts everyone else at a disadvantage. Now talking about keyboard and mouses, if most people who actually have a keyboard and mouse have a computer. And they most likely have already clocked in at least 500 hours into PUBG on computer. So they know exactly what to do, they know exactly how to aim, they know exactly how to play the game with a keyboard and mouse, so they jump in and they're dropping 50 plus kills in a single solo game. Now that's a bit of an over-exaggeration, but what I'm trying to get at is that they put everyone else using a controller trying to learn the game as well, using basic Xbox controller settings, which I would get to the settings in a moment, is that we get put at a disadvantage. So I really hope that PUBG doesn't release like a Zim or, or something that is compatible with keyboard and mouse and controller. Now I'm not sure exactly how it works, but I'm pretty sure they send out an update to all Zim users or something where they can go ahead and plug their keyboard and mouse into PUBG on Xbox One. Now they most likely will do it, and we most likely will get dicked on on the Xbox One on PUBG. But you know what, fellas, we've been dealing with this for a very long time, and I just think it needs to stop. Now the next thing that I would actually go ahead and like to talk about is the settings. Now this isn't too bad in itself. Don't get me wrong, it's fine. I can sit there and hold X and work the game completely fine, there's not a problem in it, at all. But, when I went into the settings and didn't see that not only could I not change the music and how goddamn loud that that thing can be sometimes, I couldn't change my game volume, I couldn't go ahead and change my ADS settings to a point where I was actually comfortable with it. As you guys know, with the gameplay settings and stuff like that, there's none. There is no gameplay settings, there's no audio settings, there's literally only like ADS settings for your guns and enable controller vibration. And I'll actually go ahead and put the settings on screen right now because I don't actually know what there really is being as little as it is. But as you guys know, that there really is only just ADS settings for your 2 times scope, your 1 times, your 6 times, etc, etc. So sitting there and being a game with being on PC, which has an extremely huge and massive amount of settings that they can play around for their game to run as best as they want it to, and we only get some ADS settings. 
Now, this is my issue. This has to be my biggest issue because I actually made a video on this yesterday. Now, my video was the best settings for PUBG, and I know that I had the default settings. Now, what I want to go ahead and say for anyone who watched that video yesterday, I would like to apologize for you guys for not giving you a specific settings because it really is up to a personal preference in my opinion. Now, a lot of people disagreed with that. A lot of people expected me to have a specific settings for them to go ahead and use. And honestly, there really isn't. It's really up to personal preference, but it was my opinion of the best settings in the game, which are the default settings. Now, the tip that I actually made in that video was going ahead and turning your controller sensitivity up. Now, when you do that, you guys can compensate for the recoil more, and you guys can follow players a lot easier when they're running across the field. But then I went ahead and turned my sensitivity back down to 5 because it was my personal preference and that was my only tip in the game because there really is no, there's nothing to say that this is the best settings because the settings are so little that there's nothing that you can do. If you can change, like in Rainbow Six Siege you guys have night mode for audio settings where you guys can hear smaller sounds a lot louder and louder sounds a lot quieter. Now, there's no settings like that on the Xbox One. At all, there's no audio settings, there's no settings that we can go ahead and use to change to make it so that we are comfortable with exactly what we're changing and there's nothing that we can really change to an exact sensitivity where we feel that we will not potato on anything anymore. Now I've talked about this settings thing quite a bit right now and I talked about my last video as well. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and move on to my next point. My next point is server issues. Now, I don't know about you guys, but every time that I jump out of that goddamn plane, go to the ground, and I'm down there before everyone else, it just seems like nothing loads in. Like, the houses are literally made of paper mache. And I honestly thought that, oh, it might just be a bug, it might just be doing this, but it really is because of the server issues. I think, I'm not exactly sure why that the houses do not load in. It might be because it's 30 frames per second. I'm not exactly sure. But the houses do not load in. There's a lot of tables and stuff that aren't there when you're trying and you're in a gunfight with someone else and they can't see the tables either. But there's a table right in front of you and there's just nothing on your screen. Now what I have with this issue is that because I'm in Australia and I'm pretty far away from all of the servers that are available right now. Especially the North American servers and the Europe servers. The closest servers that I'm nearest to is the Asian servers. Now that is completely fine. Asia servers are completely fine in my opinion. And anyone who lives in North America and Europe are completely fine with their connection. They do not have connection issues like I do and like some other people might have as well. So I would just like to say that I really think that they need to release some more servers in specific areas other than just these three main servers because they've been developing this game for quite a bit and they have a very high paying game on their payroll right now to go ahead and release servers in some areas where Xbox One users can actually go ahead and play the game on a 40 to 60 ping in the actual game. Now as you guys know that there's no settings to change something where you can go ahead and look at your FPS in game because the settings aren't in depth at all to a standard 40 to 80 ping. Now I don't know about you guys, these are just my personal opinion and my personal issues with PUBG on Xbox One. There's a million other things that I could go ahead and talk about. Um, but if you guys do agree, then please be sure to leave a like. If you guys don't agree, that's completely fine. Leave me your guys' thoughts down in the comment section down below, and we can have a conversation down there without arguing about things. So with that being said, and with that out of the way, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.